Yeah. From the BART train to a tour bus. Still the same game, except I pull in more sluts, more butts, more bucks. Yo, what's good? It's your boy, I'm back. Um, chasing your dreams is something we all want to do, but god damn, it can be the most stressful shit. Because basically, it's a long journey, right? But because we see other people in the positions we wish we were in, we just expect it to happen quickly for us. But that's not the case. To reference something I said in my last video, you never really know how long it took for them to get there, or the effort they had to put to get there. And a big example that I have in mind is Rihanna, successful musician, a successful businesswoman is kind of a position we'd all want to be in, but she been grinding, like been. She dropped Ponder Replay when she was 16. 16 fam, what was I doing when I was 16? I was, I was just constantly beating my meat. I, I made Ponder Replay. <laughs> I don't care what you guys say, that's a good joke. <laughs> Poor in the replay. <laughs> but my point is she started working on what she wanted to do at a really young age. And she most likely made a bunch of other songs before she was even 16. So it most likely took a long time before she even got to that position, you know? But because we just know her as Rihanna, right? We just assume it just happened like that, but it probably didn't. <laughs> Imagine she watches this video and she just responds, nah nigga, that was my first song. <laughs> I mean, another example is Drake. Before he became the rapper he is today, he was getting back shots on TV. Wait, 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 not like that. Not like that. I meant to say he got shots in the back on Degrassi. <laughs> he wasn't getting those kind of back shots. But actually, uh, actually, I kind of do have my worries of when he was on Young Money. Because Birdman has a lyric that says, Backyard with a young nigga low key. And I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, fine. Right. Technically, that lyric was said a few years after Young Money was a thing. But I just, I just kind of have this feeling that money wasn't the only thing they had to blow. But bitch, I got money to blow. I'm getting it in. Getting what in? Huh? Uh, anyway, what was I? What was I saying? Oh yeah, um, chasing your dreams. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> how did I get there? Chasing your dreams takes time and also takes a lot of confidence and pride because you just have to be able to take an L. You, you just have to be able to understand that not everything will go your way and that's fine, really. And another reason I feel like you need a lot of confidence is just so you don't struggle with comparing yourself to other people. Honestly, I hate it. I hate comparing myself to other people because it's, it's a terrible feeling. Like when you'd fail, right, and teachers in school be like, why are you failing when your colleagues are succeeding? Well, how about you? Huh? I saw you using a combi the other week. Your colleagues have cars. Where's yours? Hmm? It seems like you're struggling to succeed. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I, I kind of got triggered. Okay. I kind of got triggered. Um, anyway, <laughs> I feel like comparing yourself to other people is a very toxic thing because you're most likely going to appreciate the efforts and the talents of other people before you appreciate your own. And I really don't like that because I believe you should put yourself first. For example, even when I was at the lowest points in terms of my self-confidence, I still believed I was good at making people laugh, but I always put that to the side because I didn't think much of it. It was mainly because I was too busy admiring what other people were doing, whether it was playing sports or playing a musical instrument. I thought that that was the real shit. And I just thought jokes were just words. But if you really think about it, the more you simplify almost anything, the, the dumber it sounds. Like, so what? You're good at long jump, so you jump far. And? Why should I be impressed? I guess what I'm trying to say is that finding value in yourself and what you have to provide makes it easier for you to chase your dreams because now you're just more confident. If someone is currently doing better than you or they think they're doing better than you, that won't phase you anymore because you know that the qualities that you have will get you to where you personally want to be as long as you keep working hard and improving. I guess to summarize the whole video, when you chase your dreams, you must understand that it takes time, yeah? And most of the people you look up to may be successful right now, but it might have taken them a long time to get there. And finally, when you chase your dreams, you have to be more confident in yourself and stop comparing yourself to others, cause that simply doesn't help. Well, let me see, that's what I've learned as I've been trying to chase my YouTube dream. So tell me what you think in the comments down below. You know, as I said, I'm just trying to share what comes to my mind as I'm trying to feed myself from the shackles of anxiety and stress. If you enjoyed, please make sure you like and subscribe and share with your friends too, cause I'm trying to grow the channel. And follow me on my socials for retweets with crying emojis, cause that's, that's all I can give you to be honest. Uh, again, I really hope you enjoyed the video and I also hope you have a great week. For now, it's been your boy Dips, I'll see you guys next time in peace.